What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you all doing? My name is Wing Saber, and today I'm here to bring you guys another Heroes of the Storm guide. This time it's going to be on the mini reworked Artanis. If you guys haven't been paying attention, um, Artanis got a few changes to some of his talents, and I believe some of them were also removed. All right, so this new build is going to revolve around his shield overload. What it's going to do is it's going to reset the shield over and over and over again. So when you swap someone, you won't die. Now let me show you guys the build. At level 1, it's going to be Reactive Parry, Twin Blades, against 50 physical armor against the next enemy hero basic attack, reducing his damage by 50%. Obviously, if you want, you could also go Amateur Opponent or Season Marksman, but I heavily do not recommend Season Marksman. At level 4, it's going to be the new and improved shield battery. Shield overloads cooldown, recharges 100% faster while its shield is active, and the shield duration is increased by 1 second. At level 7, you can either pick Warp Sickness, is the slow on the uh, swap. On that, that slows. Or follow through. After using an ability, your next basic within 6 seconds deals 40% additional damage. I like this one because I like having pressure on whoever I'm hitting. Ults are pretty situational. I'll just take Suppression Pulse. At 13, we're going to be taking Phase Bulwark. Shield Overload grants 50 spell armor while active and for 2 seconds after it expires. Now if you guys remember, back to level 4. It increases the shield duration by one second, so that synergizes really well with, with phase bolt work. At 16, we are going to either be taking Force of Will or Blades of a Templar. Force of Will, what it does is casting basic abilities reduces the cooldown of your shield overload by five seconds. This is on top of reducing your cooldown with auto attacks and your twin blades. You can take this one or Blades of a Templar, which is increase your attack speed by 30%, meaning you would get this faster still because you could get increased attack speed, and your basic attack slow by 20% for 1.25 seconds. So if you get on top of somebody, this can really hurt. Now, I want to take Force of Will just to show you guys what I can do. At 20, any of these is fine except for Target Purified. I really don't like this one. Zealot Charge has been, mo been moved from 16 to 20. And it does the exact same thing. It gets rid of his um, lack of gap closers besides the swap. So if you miss your swap, you're not completely screwed. Plasma Burn it does the same thing as well. While Shield Overload is active, deals 132 damage per second to nearby enemies. So this is good for clearing waves, and this is good just for running at people, I suppose. I'm going to show Plasma Burn just for the sake of it. And I'm going to show you guys just how fast you can get your shield up. Take a good look at the shield cooldown. The reason it's coming back up so fast is because of shield battery being up all the time and force of will applies on your twin blades. And because your twin blades um, counts as two instances, they already get rid of, uh, they already shave down shield overloads cooldown with out force of will. So with force of will, let's just show you guys how much the W itself drops. I turned off the sound on accident. So it's at 15 seconds, 12 seconds this shit gets rid of. Let me show it again. 22, 20, 19, 18, 18 to 3. So it gets rid of 15 seconds off of 24 second cooldown on a shield overload. And that's just with your Twin Blades. I didn't even auto-reset. See that? From 20 to pretty much nothing. Because I got an auto-in, then I auto-reset with the Twin Blades. One time, 20 to 1. Gets rid of 20 seconds just by auto-ing. And that's because of the, the uh, force of will on top of the twin blades. And because you're going to be using blade dash and phase prism to go in most of the time, that's really not going to affect um, your shield cooldown because you're using it first rather than in the middle of the fight. So that's really big. 
So you can just keep getting your shield back over and over and over. And if you guys didn't already know the regular build, the DPS build, I can show you guys that as well. We're going to be taking Shield Surge at 4 instead of um, Shield Battery because we won't be having Phase Bulwark. So this doesn't really do that much. 7, follow through, whichever one, Triple Strike, Titan Killer at 16, and Zealot Charge. So it's pretty much a W build. Twin Blades increases Twin Blades number of basic attacks to 3, but also increases the cooldown by 1 second. Titan Killer basic attacks against heroes deal bonus damage equal to 0.5% of the target's maximum health and damage, increased to 1.5 when empowered by Twin Blades. And the Zealot Charge just increases the range, like I said before, gets rid of his inability to gap close on people. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, to recap, there's the new W build, which has Zealot Charge at 20, but everything else is pretty much the same as before. There's the Shield Battery, Phase Bulwark, Force of Will build that you can use if you really, really need to survive against a heavy... Like, like a triple DPS team, that'll really help. Um, but if you don't need to survive that badly, you can always go play to a Templar here. I hope this guide helped you guys out in your games, in your unranked, your quick match, your hero league, whatever. I will see you guys next time. Wing Saber out.